right now we need like to play with the tones so I would just apply a, a hue saturation and I would go to the reds just desaturate the reds let me make a clipping mask and I would make the lightness up a little bit alright now I will go to the yellows and I will desaturate the yellows for the hair and I will make the lightness up a little bit more right somewhere in here it looks cool as you can see this is how it looks now now I will apply a curves I will make three points let's make a clipping mask first let's make the lights a little bit up somewhere here it depends how, how you see it you know and this a little bit more and third point make it right something like that as you can see now I want like to make uh, more shadow to the legs so I will just make a level adjustment and then we make a clipping mask and we darken a little bit the, the legs then we turn this to a black by pressing ctrl i and then we choose a soft brush and then we try like no to make it looks like a shadow under the leg and in here too a little bit alright something like that okay it looks cool as you can see now I will go to this the picture in here and I will duplicate it let me just make a bit in a clipping mask and I will make it up in here and I will just right click and rasterize it and then I will turn it to black and white by pressing shift ctrl u and check that out I, I changed the, the blending mode to soft light and I will make the opacity for like 50% let me press Ctrl L to adjust the, the dark and the lights of this. Alright, and it will give it like really more uh, shadow and can always, always go and choose filter blur, Gaussian blur to make it blend even more. As you can see, it looks really cool. So uh, it looks it looks nice. I like that. Now I will go to bring the dragon in here. So I I used like three of this one in here. First this head in here, and uh, for the tails uh, I used. Let's see. Yeah, I used this one. This uh, curves tails in here. So we'll just start with this and just open it in here and now it's dependent of how you want to to manipulate the this one in here so we just press enter let's put uh, the girl in a folder press ctrl g let's call this girl all right Now, uh, let's put it in with the sky in here. Let's see, yeah. So let's put this one. Put the curve further. Let's do a little bit of cleaning. Okay. 
let's put this for G. Let's call this sky. Alright. Let's call this cave. Okay. What is that? Yeah, okay. Now uh, let's make this visible and press Ctrl T. So we resize it. To rotate it like this. Let's make this. And I want to make it looks like coming from here and going down like so. Okay, let's go. Let's make it in sky. This way, yeah. Okay. Now all I did is I just create a layer mask, and of course I delete. Uh, this part I don't want to be visible so something like this and in here so I'd like to blend it really like you know make the clouds appear in these areas like so Just give it like really nice as you can see, then here too. All right, let's go. Let's bring back some of this. Okay. Now I will choose another one. Let's. I choose this one for the tears. Yeah, this one in here. Okay, let's open that. Let's just make it smaller. It won't be like exactly the same, but it's close. Okay. Just that. Okay. And then we make another layer mask to that. Let's first delete this part in here. I think this tutorial will be divided in parts because I want to show every details as possible I can so all right let's delete this part in here and again let's play with the clouds because this way make them look Let's go. Let's bring the head. I think this one here. Yeah, this one. Wait. All right. Oh, look at that. It looks cool. I like that. Let's just flip it horizontally. And we just want to make it looks like it's making a, a sneak peek. All right, something like so. Something here. make a layer mask again and delete this part in here and this part in here you can always like I make this like this and delete this way is faster Let's 
delete this part. Let go and choose a cloud brush, and you know, try like to blend more brush to these parts in here. As you can see, it's like it's floating. Let's choose another one. Okay, you can just play like this. Cool. As you can see, it's really quickly. I try my best to show you everything. Okay, in here, let's make it like that. Now let's uh, play with the uh, the tone of it. So just make everything in a group by pressing Ctrl G. Let's call this dragon. And let's make our curves first. So I'll just make it darker. Right. Okay, something like this. And I will make a hue saturation. So we play with the, the, the color in here a little bit. Alright, let's see. Okay, let's delete that. Let's let's first let's first delete this. What is that? In here. Okay, let's delete this part in here. Let's apply a selective color so we can just choose the, uh, the color that we want to change. So we go and choose selective color and then we start with the red. Let's add more cyan. So let's put smooth this. Let's make a clipping mask first. Yeah, let's can see the change in here so let's let's put 33 and for magenta it's, there is magenta in here let's add more plus 15 or 16 and let's, let's turn down the yellow let's make it minus 21 and the black let's see you know, just you know, choose whatever looks good to your eyes. All right, let's go to the yellows and let's add more cyan. All right, and let's make desaturate the magenta a little bit. Alright, something like that. Let's desaturate the yellows to give it this really nice look. Alright, let's add more blacks. You can see it's make it darker in, in here. Alright, you can see so far, start to make changes. Now let's go to there's no green and let's play with that. 
Now let's go to the white. And let's make sign plus 12. And let's see. Okay, let's put 20 or 18. And the yellow. Let's see. Alright, 20. Let's make the black appear. Let's put 50. Let's go to the neutral. Now uh, the change will uh, affect. You can see now in the neutral, you can you now play with all the colors. Let's put split plus 12 and let's add more magenta plus 10 as you can see it's giving this really nice look and let's add more yellow not that much okay so right in here and let's add more little bit of black to make it darker. Right. Let's go to the blacks. Let's put 15. It will uh, desaturate it. Will desaturate it because that's what we want, like this in the magenta, which would give it this really nice dragon looks. And let's desaturate the yellow a little bit. All right, something like that. Let's put more blacks. Right, as you can see, like that. Let's make the opacity for like 70%. As you can see, it looks really cool now. This is before and this is after. Let's delete a little bit in the eyes because I want to be shown in an inside in here. So. With the black color, I would just go to this layer mask and delete a little bit the eyeballs because I want to turn them red. So now, after a selective color, I always like go for a color balance. So we choose color balance, and again, I would just play with the mid tones and the highlights. So let's choose uh, uh, the mid tones. Let's add more reds. Let's make a clipping mask first. Just a little bit. Maybe 10. Let's add green. Okay. And let's add more blue. Alright. Now let's go to the highlights. Let's move this right here so you can see. Now let's saturate the highlights a little bit. And let's add more magenta and let's put yellows. Not that much maybe 99 and let's go to the shadows let's add more reds not that much and let's, let's add more green and let's put a little bit of blue and maybe something like that let's add like, all right and there you go it really looks cool this way Let's again delete a little bit of the eyeball in here. Okay. 
uh, rate. Now I will choose a uh, a hue saturation. So let's and I will go to the blues in here. They will desaturate a little bit. Not that much. Alright, something like that. Okay, let's go. I think uh, now uh, I want like to darken this mouth in here, so uh, I choose a uh, curves adjustment and I will make it darker in here. Alright, and I'll create a like, clipping mask. And I will uh, invert the, the layer mask by pressing Ctrl I, and I will just darken these parts in here. This, this part too, and this part in here. Alright, okay, it looks cool. Now I want to turn this to red, so I will create uh, another layer and I will change the blending mode to normal to color and I will choose a uh, red color and I will make the opacity down and I will try like, to turn this to a red one really quickly. All right, let's go. So we're almost there now. Let's see. Yeah, all right. That's that's, that's about it. Now uh, I might like missing some of the details, but but I make sure like to upload this PSD in the link from the description below. So so now we need like to make uh, everything blend together. Just like this part in here, I don't like it, so just let's see. Let's add, a, let's add more of uh, the dragon in here. So I'll go to the this head dragon and I will add more to it. So we'll just all right. No. I'm just playing with the looks. Alright. Something like that. Uh, okay, it's cool. As you can see, the white disappear. Now it's about it. So now we, we just uh, make a snapshot by pressing Shift Control Alt E. So it will make it in a window in here. Now we will we'll be using a, a plugin that's called Nick Software. I will put uh, the link in description below so you can use that it's a paid program but uh, it will give you a 30 uh, trial days as I'm using now so just go and uninstall it and choose this color FX Pro in here so just when it's open uh, choose all and we will be using three of these filters so the first one uh, I always use is the, the cross processing in here because it's really give it a really nice fade. So uh, in the method in here choose this the last one which would be Y06 in here and make the strength about 30% and uh, let's, let's see yeah this one make the strength about 30% in here 
and press OK. And wait for it. As you can see, it really give it this really nice fade. You can like if you don't like the, the color, you can just uh, apply a layer mask and delete whatever parts you don't like. Now uh, we'll go back to the filter and choose the same uh, uh, plugin. And now we'll choose this other one, it's called ink. And uh, we'll make the color set to 1. And stand, I will choose just 10 percent this will give it this really nice fade blue in here and press ok as you can see you can you can like uh, adjust that in the opacity because I will do it so let's make it 60 percent all right and the last one, uh, I'll go again, filter, color effects, and it would be the tonal contrast because it really give it this really nice contrast to the image as you can see. And uh, I always uh, change the highlight to 15 and the mid tones also 15 and shadows 15. And the saturation I will uh, make it zero. You can desaturate it if you want, but it depends on how you want it. I just like it this way. And press OK. Wait for it to process. As you can see, it really gives this really nice contrast to the whole image. And there you go. This is about uh, almost done. But if you want like to give it this extra effect, you can just uh, go and make uh, another copy by pressing Ctrl G, and then uh, make Shift Ctrl U to make it black and white and make the blending mode to linear light and go to filter other high pass and choose like 0 0.3 or but uh, you can like first make a copy of everything and choose and go to image the image size and uh, make the size smaller because this uh, this uh, high pass it will work better for a smaller size so we just choose 1060 this way it will give it a really nice effect as you can see now uh, I would go and make a copy and turn it to black and white and change it to linear light and then go to filter other high pass and choose 0 0.3 as you can see, it will give it a really nice details in here. And let's uh, make a layer mask to it. And I will just delete in this part in here. Don't want to make this appear in here. In the sky. Some of the edges. Like so. Alright, something like that. And the last thing we'll do, we'll add a vignette. So we we'll go and choose another layer. And I will make, uh, choose the elliptical marquee tool. And I will start from here and I will draw uh, an, an elliptical circle. Like this. And I will reverse the selection by pressing Shift Control I. And I will fill it with black by pressing Alt Delete. Then I go to blur, Gaussian blur, 
and I will choose about 400 or so and I will change the blending mode to soft light and let me adjust that all right okay if you don't like it let's go and delete more of then eraser and just delete in the inside like this to make it that's where you want it and there you go uh, I hope this tutorial was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorial to come and have a nice day thank you for watching